Hey everyone, uh, thank you so much. We're just gonna uh, do our annual meeting part of this open house, uh, which is the super exciting <laughs> logistics financial presentation. So we have a, a couple exciting things to mention and I'll be brief and we will uh, enjoy our food and desserts. So um, this is Orca Media. For folks that haven't been here before, it's the Community Media Center in Montpelier, Vermont. Should I just call the water around That's okay. I mean, yeah, that's all right. Um, so yeah, I'm, my name is Christopher Viersema. I'm one of the co-directors here at Orca Media, and along with Zach Zorn and Jin Ann outside. Um, so this is our 2021 annual meeting and open house for the central Vermont community. So Orca Media moved up to Vermont College of Fine Arts in January 2020, so we haven't had a chance to have an open house like this, and we haven't had a chance to welcome the public, and um, which is also why we're doing the 2021 annual meeting now. So uh, we're just going to mention a couple highlights from 2021, kind of looking back. We've got our financials up on the screen, so we don't have to go through the numbers. And then we have an um, uh, announcement, exciting announcement to make. Um, and yeah, and then we'll also mention maybe some exciting things happening this year and leading into next. So some highlights from 2021. Um, Orca Media was the go-to resource for live streaming the governor's uh, COVID updates and press conferences. So you may have heard those on VPR. VPR was um, taking our audio stream and so it was a super uh, you know, essential service that we were providing and that was an exciting time. So um, also in tandem with that, we you know, had to figure out and uh, really develop uh, hybrid meetings. And that was the beginning, you know, 2020 into 2021, beginning of municipal and school board meetings going hybrid. Um, we, we were joking that the, that was when you started hearing, I think you're muted, right? So <laughs> the, uh, that's you know, what has continued to this day and what is now standard and uh, a much more, I'd say, complicated production setup and a lot more involved as far as staffing and capacity goes. But it also has increased accessibility. So that's a huge thing you know, that we are um, just kind of coming out of the Montpelier City Council did their strategic plan reflecting on how They've had more uh, engagement through viewership than you know, folks actually physically participating in the meeting. So that's a great thing. Um, the uh, next, next highlight is that uh, Orca Media has been part of the Vermont Access Network, which is the VAN, the advocacy organization that advocates for all community media centers in the state, all 24 of them. And we've been, um, since 2021, part of an advocacy work at the statewide level to allocate statewide, allocate state funding to the community media centers. And we've had success. Um, we were um, uh, gifted, you know, through the, the state $12,000 and then another $24,000. So that's uh, into 2022. Um, and that work continues. So we've continued to work with Van to ask the state to allocate money um, every year to the 24 community media centers. Um, the, another exciting thing is that Orca Media has recommitted to uh, community engagement in 2021. We really looked at our community partnerships, building new relationships with nonprofits in the area, with schools, and um, which has led to development of new youth media programs, including the Vermont Youth Documentary Lab in the summer of 2021. That was the beginning of that, uh, and our, we also began a uh, relationship with Montpelier High School, doing the community-based learning mentorships. We also began consulting with schools, doing media arts education consulting, and um, the, the Vermont Youth Documentary Lab Summer 2021 project that was created by the youth uh, won the Amy Kanzler Award for Experimental Film at the Freedom and Unity Youth Filmmakers Contest in White River Junction, and will be broadcasting on Vermont Public's Made Here series. So you can see that in the common room by the couch. That's uh, on a reel of youth media uh, work that we've done over the last couple years. Um, like I said, financials are up on the screen. Take a look. 2021 was also the last year, uh, last full year of Rob Chapman as executive director, who in spring 2022 
took a position as the executive director of BevCam in Beverly, Massachusetts. Um, and so we'd like to also uh, bring up Michael Abadi, our board <laughs> current board <laughs> chair. And uh, we'd like to honor John um, Block. Yeah. You may not know this, but you are now standing in the John Block M Memorial Studio. Um, and I was, I was honored to know him for years. He uh, basically steered the birthing of Orca Media to an independent nonprofit. And um, that was back in the Adelphia days when it was really attached to the cable company. So, um, the work to do that, Kenrick and I were just talking like that. That was a tricky proposition and pulled off. Um, year 01, 98. Uh, 2003. 03, thank you. Um, so we are, we are looking at our, we're going to have to plan our uh, 20th anniversary um, coming right up here. So, um, yeah, John, I, the things I think about with John are just sense of humor and just like, Ability to tell a story. Um, so I, I would just like to open up the floor. If if anyone has a sharing or a memory or a thought um, about John, um, please. The time is now. Oh, also let me mention before. Um, concurrently, we'll be uh, rolling out a, a community producer grant uh, in John's name that will be. Annual, I do believe. Yeah, so yeah. we're developing a community producer award and grant, and the, we'll have more details around that. And um, that's super exciting, also in John Block's name. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, clap, clap, clap. Um, I Dave? do see some takers yeah. the opening up of the floor. Um, Dave, Dave, you want to? Can we have you come up so we can hold the mic? <laughs> John was one of those people that had way too much going on in his head every minute. Uh, he needed Orca Media. He needed to be able to have these topics that were important to him have some place that they were also important to uh, the cameraman or to the, the audience. And um, I think I was at that point the director of the Lamoille Family Center and uh, and he said that he wanted me to get on the board because I live right up there at, uh, on the top of the hill over by the old meeting house. And he was like a pit bull because <laughs> if he asks you to do something like that, he won't stop asking you until you either move away and don't let him know where you've gone or you actually do what he wanted you to do. And so I remember some of the John Block meetings here. I once uh, was teasing him and I was saying, we need more gear, John. Um, I, I like the orca whale thing, but how about some t-shirts that say, Block is beautiful? <laughs> he didn't think that was uh, that funny. <laughs> but um, I think what to me is, is interesting about John is that his um, depth of personality and interest in so many things allowed um, orca to be a more interesting and exciting place to be. And so I'm glad we've got the plaque for him. And I hope I haven't said anything too irreverent about him on, on my day <laughs> with the mic in my own hand. But uh, the other thing is he knew that if he got you here, it would be a hard thing to get away from. And so I'm still here. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Hi, I'm Joanne Crowley, and I, I worked with and for John for a number of years, and the comment about Pitbull is spot on. <laughs> but the thing that I remember most clearly was his lack of fear in certain situations. There was a big meeting with Comcast, and there were going to be all these attorneys, and he was kind of like, bring it on, bring it on, <laughs> because he was always well-versed and passionate about whatever he was trying to get across, a point. And there was one other thing about John that made him so unique and so special, and that is that he was always the first one to give credit where credit was due. He wasn't one to you know, take praise uh, uh, and hoard it. He shared it so warmly and so fully with everyone that he worked with. 
So it's a pleasure to be here for this event. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, if anyone else would like to say anything, please, please. <laughs> Want to hold the mic? Sure. All right. Um, my name is Kenrick Kite, and I'm the uh, past director of ORCA. And I was working with John in that transition time when it was up on the hill at Adelphia, not even on the bus line. And we had people who would have to come into ORCA who had, had literally get off the bus at the hospital and walk with their gear up to the hill. And so that was a big uh, reason why we wanted to move downtown in the middle of things when we were in city center. Um, and um, it was really John that helped steer that through, as you said earlier, that uh, I did the legwork and, you know, I, I, I was pushing the gas pedal and he was doing the steering. So <laughs> basically, um, and, and really couldn't have done that without his guidance, his knowledge of the nonprofit world and his, and his, his ability to um, pull people together, his ability to see far into the distance and beyond the point where I could see. Uh, his ability to grasp the concepts of the technology, if not the technology itself. So that was, you know, in, eternally grateful to John for um, bringing ORCA, bringing public access um, from sort of being out in Stickville to being really in the middle of, of where life was happening. Um, so we saw a lot of growth in those first few years, and I hope that we continue to see that growth here. And is that the college? Thank you. What seemed to be not the college, I guess. I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> Thank, you so much. Thank you. Thank you for everyone for coming up and saying something. It's really, it is super exciting to um, take the legacy and kind of go forward with that. So thank you so much. I just wanted to say a few things about what's happening this year and uh, leading into next. Um, and then please also grab some food. So um, if you don't know already, uh, we have moved from, Orca Media has moved from the uh, conventional executive director model to a co-director model, and now we have three co-directors, Jin Ann, Zach Zorn, and myself. Um, so come and talk to us anytime, and we can tell you more about it. So that's uh, a very exciting, and we also wanted to say that in October, uh, we're collaborating with The Bridge and uh, presenting live election uh, forums, candidate forums here at Orca Media um, at the John Block Memorial Studio. And uh, we're focusing solely on our local races in central Vermont. So you could tune into those and the schedule will be available. Um, our youth media programs are continuing to grow with homeschool classes, after school programs, in school residencies, and consulting <coughs> with local schools. Um, the last bit of exciting news is Orca Media will now be the presenter of the Green Mountain Film Festival. Thank you. So um, we've accepted uh, the, the offer from Focus on Film, and now we're housing them, uh, the Green Mountain Film Festival, and, and managing it going forward. Um, first established in 1997, and now returning in March 2024. So we have a little bit of time. It's been on hiatus since the beginning of the pandemic. And so what we're doing is we've formed a uh, local advisory committee of filmmakers, film enthusiasts, and nonprofit arts professionals. And so there's a lot to come. Stay tuned. And there's a lot happening in general at Orca Media. So just stay in touch and give us a holler, get involved. And uh, I just want to say a few logistics things. There's some food from K Sherpa out there, which is please enjoy. We also have some donated desserts from uh, Hunger Mountain Co-op. And we have three video screenings happening um, in the John Block Memorial Studio. We'll have our community producer reel. In the common room, we'll have the youth media reel. And at the conference table, just kind of uh, adjacent to the common room, we'll have our live channel, the public access channel, uh, live on Comcast. We also have a raffle giving away some Orca Media t-shirts. So you can sign up for the newsletter outside and um, yeah. And I want to say thank you to our board members, our staff, community producers, and our volunteer media makers, Gardner and Campbell, who are going around interviewing folks. Thank you all. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you.